Carter, along with Bill Gibbons from Franklin Field. Quickly, Bill, a very good matchup. Temple at 1-1, one one, the Hens at 1-0. A very big matchup, except especially for the Owls of Temple, a big-time football program. In order for them to be successful, they have to start with the Blue Hens of Delaware. And look for Temple to go upstairs early with Tim Reardon. Having a great success in the early going, 37 for 53, almost throwing 70%. And Steve, if he throws 70% tonight, the Delaware secondary is going to be tested an awful lot. Just about set for kickoff. Casey Knoblog booted away. 1976 was the last time these two clubs met here, and the Hens pulled off a dramatic 18-16 victory in the rain. Steve, we're ready. Let's go Blue Hens, and let's go Steve Turnberger. KC now blocked to kick it deep. A lot of running room for Temple. And the Owls will have great field position at the 40. Starting for Temple, up front at left tackle, Mike McClern is number 76, 6'5", 286, biggest man on the football field. Left guard, Mike Parada. Center, Mike Berger. Uh, right guard is Mike... Pentino, your right tackle, Craig Epley. Set to backfield momentarily. Tim Reardon at quarterback for the Owls. Brian Slade, Harold Harmon in the backfield. Reardon's going to put it up early. Scrambling with a little room to run. Tim will turn it up and get run out of bounds. Good defensive pursuit out there. The hands with a great defensive effort last week. They shut out Western Kentucky 31 to nothing. Yielded minus five net yardage on the ground, 86 total yards. The Hilltoppers ran up on the Blue Hens. That was their first shutout in 30 ball games. At the split ends, Reggie Brown. He wears number 33, top receiver on this ball club. Reardon, 70% completion passer this year. One and one on the air. Here's Slade, Brian Slade, a sop in trouble. And knocked down there. 78, Joe Valentino, Robertson, number 56. Ron Rossi, number 90. The hands have come to play football. Quickly setting a defensive line for Delaware. Up front, Ron Rossi at the left end. Your left tackle is Joe Valentino. Right tackle, Jeff Hardenshield. Your right end, Paul Brown. The linebacker, Sean Riley, Greg Robertson, and Ali Witherspoon in the backfield. George Schmidt, Lee, uh, Lou R Rita, Bill Malley, and Jimmy Newfrock. Third and nine, Temple. Reardon, straight drop. Reardon in trouble, scrambling out of pocket. Got a man out there complete, but they'll be short of first down yardage. Rita on the coverage, along with George Schmidt. Pass was complete. Ruben McCoy, number 80, and checking it's going to be a first and 10 tempo, first drive of the ball game. Good pressure and fired by the Delaware defensive front. Reardon scrambled out of the backfield and hit McCoy at midfield. Jim Armour is the tight end, 6'3", 220, wears number 81. He's set up on the right side of the Temple offensive front. Here's Slade, Brian Slade, Ron Rossi in on the hit. With assistance from Paul Brown. Remember at halftime, we'll have Paul Brown as our halftime guest here on the Blue Hen Football Report. First time Temple's picked up yardage on the ground, gain of four. It'll bring up a second and six from the 46. Ruben McCoy split wide right, Brown split left. Option Reardon, he'll turn it up. Tim Reardon with a little bit of room. Rossi again on the hit. Also Sean Riley out there, number 58. Third and three, Temple at the Blue Hen, 44. Just underway, first quarter action. 13 minutes left here in the first quarter. Fumble. Reardon got it back and he's dropped. He's going to have to give up the football. Robertson coming from that middle linebacker spot to make the tackle. A little mix up in the Temple backfield. That's your first fumble of the ball game. And Delaware hopefully will get a hold of the football here. Number 18, Kip Schenefeld will do the booting. 6'5 sophomore and Kevin Phelan will drop deep. Phelan had a lot of work 
in the opening ball game against Western Kentucky. Hens look for a return here. Line drive kick. Phelan will let it bound, and it will dribble into the hen end zone. First and ten, Delaware. And they will move it from their own 20. Tubby Raymond right here at Franklin Field. Up front, Tom Pershery, Doug Martin, Peter Mill, Mark Manolo, Randy Smith. They are your front men for the Blue Hens. Set that backfield just a second. That's Kaysan in motion. Clement in a wing right. Now we'll set up on the line of scrimmage. Kevin Phelan on a carry. Kevin will cross the 20 and get dumped at about his 22-yard line. The Owls of Temple, remember, they got not destroyed by Penn State. They are down 21-0 on three quick touchdown passes in the first quarter. But then the Owls came back and made it very respectable, outscoring uh, the Nittany Lions by a score of 14-10 in the final three quarters. Lost that ball game by a score of 31-14. Mark Steimer is your tight end set up on the left. Phelan is the wing, along with Clement. Clement, uh, I'm sorry, Phelan's your split end with Rick Titus at fullback, John Kaysan at one half. Here's Rick Titus up the middle with a little room. Picks up about three yards on the play. We will call it third down and five from the Blue Hen, 25. Steve Delaware testing the Temple right side of the defensive front. The left side, excuse me. When you do that, you got to test left tackle number 97, Vinny Minnie. He's had two solo tackles on the first two plays from scrimmage. Vinny Minnie's a good one. Six foot, 254. Third and a long five. Just inside the Delaware 25. Remember, they have to get to the Temple, I'm sorry, to the Delaware 30. Case on in motion. Scully, here's Titus. Rick will get it. First down, Blue Hens. Their initial first down of the ball game, Rick Titus. Had a great day punting last week, over 46 yard average. Last year he had a 39 plus average. That is an all time University of Delaware Blue Hen football record for punters. On a first and 10 from the Hen 31. Rick rolling and scrambling. He'll throw, got a man a little bit behind Rick Titus. Let's set that Temple defense for you right now. Left tackle, Vinnie Mini, number 97, the captain. Middle guard is Ken Stapulo, number 93. Your right tackle is Guy Peters. At the linebackers, outside 37 is Jay Gicker. Inside, Bob Balkanis. On the right side, Tom Kilkenny. And on the right outside is Paul Dara. In the secondary, Kevin Ross, Ken Coffin, Sam Jones, Anthony Young. They've given up 41 points, I'm sorry, 31 points to Penn State, 18 last week to Syracuse. Second and 10, Delaware. Phelan, sweep left. Kevin, nice cut back, diving up over the 37-yard line. He will go down at about the 38. And that will bring up a third and about three for Delaware. Sam Jones in on the hit, number 17, coming from the safety spot. Anthony Young had Phelan in the backfield. As you mentioned, good cutback by Phelan. Pick up a seven yards. It'll bring up a third and three from the 38. Remember, the Hens have beaten Temple the last two years running. 1980 in Veterans Stadium, a 28-7 victory. And last year at Delaware Stadium, they beat the Owls 13-7. Rick Scully has engineered both of those victories. Here's Rick, looking for his first completion. A little bit overthrown on Keith Phelan. Kevin Ross with the INT. We'll go back the other way, first and 10, Temple. First and 10, Temple at their own 32-yard line. First turnover of the ball game. Here's Slade, Ryan Slade, running game. The Temple has been shut down. Valentina is in there, Robertson, Witherspoon. Delaware with one of the top defensive efforts they've had in a long time. They turned that one over last week against Western Kentucky. Remember, the Delaware defense had trouble last year, and most of the guilt was pointed to the secondary. And of course, you gotta have a pass rush to help out the secondary. They will be tested tonight. Tim Reardon, probably the top quarterback that Delaware will face all year long. Here's Reardon, rolling left. He can do this. Take pump, will turn it up. Reardon with some good running room. Reardon knocked out of bounds up around his 45-yard line. We move to further action in the same series of plays. Reardon, third down and seven, straight drop. 
pressure with his boot on a blitz. And Reardon will gun over the middle. Got a man out there. Reggie Brown. Sean Riley on the tackle. Reggie Brown will move it upfield. First and 10, Temple. Second and 20 after a holding penalty against Temple. Brown split wide right. Here's Reardon on a straight drop. Tim will go over the middle. Got a man wide open. Kick off. Bill Malley. Malley's got the football with room. He'll cut back inside the 50 to the 45. Great field position, Blue Hen. First and 10, Delaware at the Temple 43. Reardon tried to hit Brown across the middle. Juggling act. Malley the right place at the right time. Delaware's going to regain possession, but it's going to come back 15 yards. I think we're going to have a clip on the return by Billy Maley. But Steve, Delaware's secondary has been tested in, in the early going. But they have come through in the challenge. They will move the hens back 15. They'll go first and 10 from their own 22. Rick Scully up over the football. 6-17 left here. We're scoreless. Rick in trouble and drop. First sack of the ball game for Temple. That didn't happen much last week at all. Ninety-six is Lloyd Yancey. Lloyd Yancey in on the head for the Owls. There's Lloyd. Yancey at 6'5", 245 pounds. He is a sophomore. Kelly has Titus, Kaysan, and Clement in his backfield. John Kaysan in motion. Here's Rick Titus up the middle. Straight draw and a fumble, Temple football. Owls have it very deep in blue hand territory at the 19. Andy Locust on the recovery, number 19, for the Owls of Temple and Delaware. In some trouble here with 529 left. Nothing, nothing, your score from Franklin Field. Coy split left, Brown split right. Ermer to tight end. On the left side of the Temple line, Reardon rolling, gunning over the middle. Almost picked off, big play down there. Looks like Bill Maley again, right on the goal line. Bill Maley knocking down the intended pass for Reuben McCoy. McCoy's had success this season, leading receiver on this ball club. Seven catches for 63 yards and a TD. Reggie Brown also with seven catches for 88 yards and a touchdown. Tim Reardon. 37 out of 53, no interceptions, four touchdowns, 395 yards. That is 70% efficiency through the air. Second and 10 at the hand, 19. Harmon. Check it, Sherman Myers, number 40. He checked in for Harold Harmon. Sherman Myers with running room inside the hen 10. Temple has not beaten Delaware the last two years. Last time they beat the hens, it was down at Delaware Stadium. 31-14, that was the year the hens won the national championship. First and goal, Temple, five minutes, first quarter. No score. Reardon, option. Great play by Paul Brown, the captain. Brown at 6'4", 235, and Temple very fortunate there. Reardon looked the option, and he made the flip, but got the football back fortunately when Brown is, was in his pocket. Reardon, three for six on the contest. Second and 14, straight drop. Reardon in trouble, Rossi had him, lost him. But Hartsfield is there, number 99. On the stop, he had some help. Valentino also there, number 78, coming from his left tackle spot. Brand new artificial service here at Franklin Field. Over $600,000 the cost to put in new turf here at Franklin. Third and 14, 3.30 left, first quarter. Reardon, Myers, Myers at the 3-2 drop. I'm sorry, Myers down to the four-yard line. We will call it fourth and goal from about the six. Sherman Myers, number 40, and I'm sure Wayne Harden will send on his kicking crew. Bob Closser will do the kicking. Four for four, and the extra point to four. Ruth, one aid, busting it up the middle. Pick up a couple yards in the play. 
Hardenfield in there for Valentino. And Paul Brown comes up limping slightly. Remember, Paul Brown will be our halftime guest here at Franklin Field. 12.35 to play second quarter. Big crowd on hand in Philadelphia. Estimated at about 25,000. Brown split wide left. He's got a couple passes on the evening. Reardon wants to put it up. Dropped the football and he was lucky. Tim Reardon very lucky. Ron Rossi was there ready to pounce on that loose football. And that will bring up a third and long yardage for the Owls. Third and about 13 from the Delaware 27. Reardon throwing at a 70% clip on the season. That's through two ball games. Straight drop, draw play, fake draw, Reardon in trouble. Valentino chasing, Reardon gunning over the middle, almost picked off, couldn't get it. All the hens are there. Great effort by Bill Mellie. Newfrock was in there along with Robertson. Fourth down, Temple, and that should bring Bob Clauser onto the football field. It will. Bob Clauser is two of two in field goals. Kicking the season has won tonight. Bill Shirk doing the holding. Clauser will spot it at the 34, 44-yard boot. It's up long enough and good. Bob Clauser, second field goal of the ball game. The Owls of Temple take a 13-0 lead with 11.23 to play second quarter. Brain Trust trying to get things cranked up. Ted Kemsky, Rick Scully there, and Cubby Raymond to Rick's left. Also the two backups, John Spar and DJ Webster. Bob Clauser to boot it away, number 10. Phelan and Kaysine deep. Phelan will take this drop and pick it up in his own six. Kevin at the 20. Sweeping wide right. Kevin will be dropped at his 27-yard line. Delaware will move it first and 10. Steve very good with that last Temple drive. Even though they came away with three points, you can't blame the Delaware defense. Temple took three minutes to move just seven yards from the 34 down to the 27. Calls it with the 44-yarder. Six plays, and the Owls lead 13-0. Hens on a first and 10, moving it from their own 27-yard line. Here's Kevin Phelan. Kevin dropped at his own 29. The Temple defense has been very, very tough there. Clock rolling, 10-50. Delaware, the number one rated football team in one double-A in the Lexington, Kentucky Herald. Remember, two one double-A football polls out right now. Second nine. Kevin picked up one yard on the play. Here's Titus, Rick Titus, up over the hen 35-yard line. That will bring up a third down. Third and three, Delaware. Clement in motion. Reader, the fullback. He will not get close to first down yardage. And the Blue Hens will have to punt it away. They've had trouble offensively. Ed Schubeck, number five, in on the tackle. 9.54, clock moving. 13-0, Temple. Gene Feingold and Anthony Young deep. Who's got it? Feingold. Trying to find some running room. He will be dropped at his own 34-yard line. Temple will move it first and 10. Owen Brand down there with John Gannon, number 55. And again, Joe Quigg, number 19. First and 10, Temple at their own 34. McCoy split wide left. Brown split wide right. The backs in the eye. Slade and Harmon. Here's Harold Harmon. He's had success tonight. Harmon over the 40, 45, 50, 45. Harmon knocked out of bounds. Knocked out of bounds at his own, I'm sorry, the hen 40-yard line. Bill Maley with a game-saving tackle there. Harold Harmon was off to the races once again. Harold Harmon with great speed out of Indian River. His junior and senior years in high school, he was the runner-up to the 100-yard dash. And ironically, he was the runner-up to his teammate, Corey Jarman, who was in the hen stable last year but had injury problems and is not playing at all in 1982. First and 10, Temple at the hen 40. A 
rear nip quarterback, number 14, 6'1", 185 pounder. Here's Harmon, Harold with room. Harmon breaking deep in the hand secondary, inside the 25 yard line, another first down, Temple. New Brock on the stop, number 10. First and 10, Temple, 8.50 second quarter. Reardon, here's Harmon, Harold. Busting inside the 20 to the 15, down to the 14. Harold Harmon, over 100 yards here in the first half. We now move to further action in the same series of plays. Second and goal, Temple from the hen four. McCoy split wide out left. Harmon in the backfield with Slade. Here's Harold, trying to turn the corner, great play. I'm Rossi being administered to on the uh, Delaware sidelines. He needs to get back in the ball game. Third and goal, Temple. Remember Ron Rossi on the sideline. Gannon is in there in his spot. Reardon on a straight drop. Tim in trouble, scrambling at his 20. At the 15, dropped at his 10. Witherspoon and Valentino there, and that will bring up a fourth and goal. Temple will set up for another field goal, Bob Clauser. Bill Shirk to do the holding. Bob Clauser trying to connect on his third field goal of the ball game. Low snap, Clauser gets it up, and good. Three for three for Bob Clauser. Also a touchdown for Harold Harmon. That's been the story. 16 to nothing, the Owls of Temple leading the hands of Delaware. John Kaysan with Kevin Phelan back there deep for the Blue Hens. Also Chris Brown, number 36, a fullback, only a sophomore. He's one of the up men. 16 to nothing, Temple. Nice crowd on hand here at Franklin Field. Remember the Owls and the Hens haven't played here since 1976. Blue Hens with a big victory. Another great kick by Clauser. And Kevin Phelan will down it in his own end zone. The Hens will move it first and 10. Martin, Mill, Melillo, and Smith up front for Delaware on a first and 10 from their own 20. Scully, here's Titus. Rick Titus over the 25. The 26 dropped the football. Temple's got it. Big turnover for Temple. Lloyd Yancey comes up with the football, a defensive tackle, and it will be first and 10. The Owls of Temple will move it. Yancey at 6'4", 245 pounds, and only a sophomore. Harold Harmon and Brian Slade split in the backfield. Reardon, five of nine on the contest. Reardon, will he go down? Yes, he will. That's Wetzelberger, number 92, in on the hit. Bob Wetzelberger. Along with Dave McGarva. McGarver, a senior at 6'2", 225. Wetzelberger, only a sop at 6'2", 236. Dave McGarver getting some action. A senior did not let her in 1981. Big play for Delaware, second and 20, Temple. The hands need a defensive surge here. Harmon, Harold, slicing inside the 35 to the 10-33. Joe Quigg also on attack on number 19. John Gannon in there at left end for Ron Rossi. Reardon wants to put it up on a third down. Going over the middle, deflected, and picked off. Lou Reader's got the football breaking tackle, and he's got some blockers. Here comes Lou Reader. They'll cut back against the grain, 50, 45, 40, and Delaware with a flag on the play. Big play by Lou Reader, but there will be a flag against the end of Delaware. But Lou Reed, a great effort there. Deflected pass. And nonetheless, Delaware will get the football first and ten. Good play by Reed, especially on the return. We're going to have a clip at about midfield. The Hens will take over at the 35-yard line. Four minutes left. A good chance for the Blue Hens to get back in this football game. 
Lou Rita with a 40-yard return. Of course, they move it back 15 because of the penalty. First and 10, Hems for the 38. Rick Scully directing the offense. Kaysan in a wing left. Clement in a wing right. Here's Cliff in motion. Fake, Scully's going to keep. We'll set up and gun over the middle. Got him wide open. Kaysan on the pitch. John Kaysan inside the Temple 30 to the Al 28. John Kaysan, good play there. He caught one pass last week. For 29 yards. That was the longest reception of the afternoon against Western Kentucky. 341 left. Inside the Al 29. Reader. Dan stacked up at the Al 26 and pushed backwards. Mill up over the football. He's a senior. Scully with a play action fell down. Rick was down as soon as his knee touched. And the Delaware following here won a roughing of the passer. But the Hens will move back to the Temple third, or the Temple 33. That will bring up a third and long yardage. Big play for Delaware. The middle out of Casey Knobloch's range. It would be about a 50-yarder for Tubby Raymond. Once a touchdown, would put the Hens within nine points and definitely right back in this game. Scully, one of four for 30 yards. Third and 13, 2.12 left, clock moving. Scully, got case on. John with some running room and a little blockers out there. Get the sideline. But we bumped out of bounds at the Al 20. And he's close to the first down yardage, but I think he's going to be a little bit short. That's going to bring up a fourth down Delaware at the Al 21. Big decision for W. Raymond. Going to send in the kicking unit. Casey Knobloch to do the booting. After an illegal procedure penalty, pushed the ball back five yards. Tubby Raymond sent back the offense. Fourth and seven. Hens have to get inside the Temple 20. Scully on a drop. Going over the middle. Can't find his man. He's looking for Kevin Phelan. Hens come up empty handed at the 201 mark, second quarter. Temple will move it first and 10 from their own 27. There was no further scoring in the half and it then for the Blue Hens, also the captain for 1982. And Paul, you've mentioned in the past you were very surprised to get the captaincy this year. Yeah, that is true, Steve. Um, I guess there's about 22 seniors as a you know on the squad right now, and including my class, which redshirted freshman year, and uh, also the class that really is the true senior class. There's a combination of guys that that could have really done the job as, as well, you know, as, as I'm trying to do right now. Um, you know, I, I, I anticipated it as being somebody else, but uh, when Coach Raymond told me in the springtime that I was elected captain, I was really honored and thrilled to represent the team. Paul, uh, going back to your freshman year, it was an experimental process with the Blue Hen coaching staff to redshirt your entire freshman class, and all the, the, the seniors on this club, except eight or nine, are all five-year seniors coming in. That must have been a big boost for the ball club to have all you guys back this year because the senior class that would have been here right now is about eight or nine guys in the ball club. Yeah, that's, that's once again true. Um, you know, back when we were freshmen, there was a bunch of guys, you know, like Rick Scully, myself, and Mark Malillo, and Kevin Phelan, just to name a few of the guys. You know, we were all, we were all young, and we, didn't, uh, we really didn't know how to um, decide or anything. So Coach, Coach Flynn and Coach Raymond came down, and they, they offered to us, you know, if we wanted to uh, redshirt that year because they didn't have a freshman schedule or anything like that, and, which in turn proved that to be an advantage for us because we are able to play this last year of varsity, varsity football. When you're going to Monsignor Bonner uh, High School up in Philadelphia, a big Catholic football power, University of Delaware has a lot of press in the Delaware Valley. How much did you know about the university while you were in uh, Monsignor Bonner? Well, my senior year at uh, Bonner, I was um, fortunate enough to have Coach Vince Knoll, and he's a native of Wilmington, Delaware, and uh, he used to be a big Blue Hen fan back, you know, back, I guess, a few years ago or whatever, and um, as, an, as his assistant, we also had Billy Zwan, was was a great quarterback down here. So I was pretty fortunate enough to know um, pretty a lot about Delaware before I came down here. And uh, I was filled in by those two. And then again, I was co recruited by uh, Coach Ron Rogerson, uh, now up in Maine. And, um, you know, I was, like I said, I was pretty fortunate. I was pretty lucky to find out a lot about this great school. So I was pretty, I was pretty, you know, I was pretty happy with it. 
Paul, in preseason, you knew you had a good ball club coming back here. Loads of lettermen, almost every, everybody back on offense. Everybody one starter back on defense. A lot of injury problems in preseason. You really didn't get things rolling until Saturday afternoon against Western Kentucky. Ball club's got to be in a good groove now coming into Temple. Yeah, we are. We're anticipating Temple just like we would anticipate anybody else on our schedule. Um, like you said before, we did have a lot of problems, especially offensively, um, during preseason. We had a lot of running backs down, as Coach Raymond has mentioned before in the past. And uh, it was it was a horror scene, as he described it at some times. And, uh, you know, we, we still had the same true agonies of, you know, preseason and the same everybody getting down at one certain time or another. But uh, we pulled through. We had a great week of practice last week before the Western Kentucky game. And uh, now that everybody's healthy, we're anticipating Temple with a great deal of uh, great deal of pride in our school, and uh, we're going to be looking forward to playing them. Last spring, uh, Tubby and the assistants on the, the coaching staff were experimenting with moving you from the defensive end to the tackle position, basically because you didn't have a lot of people coming back at tackle, but uh, Harden Shield and Wetzelberger and, of course, Joe Valentino in good shape right now, you have been able to stay at defensive end. Yeah, I, you know, I was, I was ready to play either position. It was up to the, top, it was up to the staff, whichever they wanted to put me. Um, like you said, I was experimenting at defensive tackle during the spring, this past spring, and uh, I played some last year when Joe and Eddie were both hurt against Lehigh, and then I, I was moved down. I played a couple series there. But uh, like you said, I'm, I'm happy where I'm playing right now as long as I'm helping the team out. And I, defensive end's fine with me. I don't really matter. But, you know, Jeff, Jeff Hardenshield and Bob Wetzelberger have both come around, and they've both been able to provide a lot, a lot of us with depth and a lot of, you know, Jeff with the year experience right there and Joe being healthy. So that's, I guess that's what made them decide to keep me at end. Probably glad you came to Delaware. Oh, yeah. Probably the best move of my life. It did come down to Villanova and Delaware, and right now it turns out to be the best and smartest move I ever made because Villanova now has, you know, no more football there. Okay, Paul, doing a good job as captain. Good luck to us. Thanks a lot, Steve. Thank you. All right. During the second half, the Blue Hens trailing Temple 16 to nothing. Bob Clouser kicking off to Kevin Phelan. Phelan will return 15 yards to the Blue Hen 18-yard line, first and 10 Delaware to open the second half. Delaware has had a lot of trouble here in the first half. Remember, Temple, a very good ball club. They're 1-1 one one on the season. They knocked off Syracuse last week, and a week before that they went up and played surprisingly well against a Penn State ball club up at University Park, Pennsylvania. Delaware football, first and 10. Rick Scully having his troubles tonight. He is 2 of 7, one interception for 44 yards. He has been sacked once for a loss of 9 yards. Case sign in motion. Rick wants to scramble and throw it out. Going over the middle, got a man wide open, quick swim, has got the football. Up over his own, incomplete. I'm sorry, incomplete. Looked like Cliff scooped it off the turf. We were looking over the shoulder of Cliff Clement, incomplete. It will be second and ten. Quickly, your first half statistics. Delaware with two first downs. Temple with 12 first downs. Uh, rushing, Delaware rushed six times for a total of 32 yards. Temple, 33 rushes for a total of 195 yards. Harold Harmon had most of that yardage, 157 yards on the ground, including a 70-yard TD scamper. Second and 10. Reeder in trouble and dropped. Dan Reeder buried in his own backfield, hit in there by number 49 for the Owls of Temple. They played very well defensively tonight. Doug Davis coming from his linebacker spot. The big stat, total offensive yards, Delaware 76, Temple 237. Also, Delaware lost two fumbles in the first half. Scully, a swing pass out to Clement. That's a loose football. Hens frustrated. That was a free football thrown behind the line of scrimmage. And it will be fourth down, Delaware inside their own 10-yard line. Rick Titus will again have to boot out of his own end zone. Steve? Anthony Young and Gene Feingold back to receive Rick Titus's punt. Five-yard penalty puts the ball inside the hand four. Titus gets it out of there nicely. Feingold, fair catch. He will make the grab at the Delaware 38. Temple will move it first and 10 with 13.51 to play here. Third quarter action. Temple leading 16 to nothing. First and 10 Temple, first possession of the second half. Ryan Rossi injured. He hobbled off the field at halftime. I'm sure we won't see him in the second half. Here's Harmon sweeping wide right. Witherspoon out there to throw him out of bounds along with Paul Brown. Harmon will stop the clock, but he moves it inside the Delaware 34-yard line. 
good pursuit by Witherspoon, holding Harmon in just a pickup of four yards. Harmon, 15 rushes, 157 yards, and one touchdown. That TD was a 70-yard run, first score of the ball game. Reardon on a second and six. Slate and Harmon back there in the backfield. Long count, Slate will drive, bounce off a of blue hen, and pick up a couple yards. Valentino was there to meet him early along with Paul Brown. But Brian Slade picks up a couple more yards, and that will bring up a third and a long two for Temple. Reardon, straight drop. Going over the middle. Got a man out there and caught. That's his tight end, number 81, Jim Ermert. His first reception of the ball game, and Temple deep into hen territory, first and 10 from the Delaware 16. Tim Reardon showing a lot of poise, sitting back in that Temple pocket. Looked for his receiver, waited for Irma to break open, 18 yards on the pickup. And Steve, once again, Temple is very deep in Delaware territory. Coming in, Reardon, 37 of 53 on the year. Here's uh, Reardon running the football. He will dive near the hen 10 yard line. Temple leading 16 to nothing. Reardon. Here's Myers. Myers is stacked up and dropped. Sherman Myers in there for Harold Harmon. Robertson again in on the hit. Greg Robertson is at a good ball game. Hermert tight end left. McCoy split wide left. New fullback is Rod Moore. Rod Moore will dive inside the hen 10 yard line. And that will bring up a fourth down. Steve, it seems as though Wayne Harden is very content in keeping the ball in the middle of the football field and letting Clouser go for his fourth field goal of the evening. This will be a relatively easy one, being from 25 yards out. Bill Shirk to put it on the tee, Clouser to do the booting. Got it. Four of four for Bob Clouser. Owls lead 19 to nothing with 10 38 to play third quarter. John Kason and Kevin Phelan deep to receive Bob Clauser's kickoff. He has boozed most of them into the end zone. Line drive this time. Phelan way back. He's got it down it. Nine yards deep in the Delaware end zone, and the hens will bring it out and try to move it first and ten. Up front for Delaware, Tom Pesherin, Doug Martin, Peter Mill, Mark Malolo, and Randy Smith. John Kaysan has caught two balls tonight. He has been the only Delaware receiver to catch a football this evening. Scully option. A lot of people in his own backfield. But Rick will scamper for a couple of yards. Caught second and a short eight from the hen 22. Some big guns up front in that Temple defense. Running basically a 5-2. Three down linemen and two linebackers playing defensive end. Scully going across the middle. Got a man out there, but it's going to be picked off. Anthony Young with the football. Anthony Young, 40, knocked out of bounds around the hen, 33. Temple has looked impressive. After three Temple plays, the Owls were unable to sustain a drive, so Wayne Harden sent in Bob Clauser for a school record fifth field goal. Called a 43-yarder with 7.57 to play. Good snap, good hold, got the distance. Yes! Bob Clauser has been a big story in this contest. Five for five for Bob Clauser, also an extra point. Clouser has 16 points in the ballgame with 7.49 to play. Temple 22, 10 scoreless. That's the way it ended. The Blue Hens of Delaware losing their first ballgame of the season. Temple goes 2-1 and one overall in the year. Stay with us. We'll be back with Tubby Raymond right after these words. 
Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to the Rollins Cablevision Studio. Steve Turnberger here on the Blue Hen Football Report. Quickly, like to thank Airport Toyota, exclusive sponsors of 1982 Blue Hen Away football games. Of course, located down on Route 13, across from the Greater Wilmington Airport. Final score: 22 to nothing. The Owls taking the Delaware uh, Blue Hens. First time the Hens have been shut out since 1975, 78 game span, and Harold Harmon rolling up 209 yards on the ground. Former Indian River All-Stater played very well on Saturday night, only a junior for Wayne Harden. We had the complete statistic roundup, not very good for the Blue Hens, but you'll see how the defense played very well in this contest. Injury reports, Ron Rossi will tell you about him. The top 10, where the Hens stand in 1AA across the country. Also talk to Tubby Raymond, Greg Robertson right after the ball game in the Hen locker room with the news from past Saturday night up at Franklin Field. Let's take a look at those team statistics, and right away you'll see the Hens were in trouble offensively. Two first, down, two first downs in the first half in this ball game. The Hens got three in the second half. They end up with five first downs in the entire ball game. 20 first downs for the Owls of Temple as that vaunted uh, Temple offensive attack played somewhat uh, surprisingly not as good as we expected. Del uh, Delaware defense played very well. Remember, Temple had great field position throughout the ball game. Net yards rushing, Delaware 66, the Owls of Temple 316. Of course, Harold Harmon, most of that yardage. Net yards passing, Rick Scully had 73 on the evening and 78 for Temple. That was a key statistic in the Delaware defense. Passing, Rick Scully 6 of 23, 4 interceptions. And of course, Temple 7 of 18 with 2 interceptions. Bill Maley and Lou Rita coming up with those steals. Total net yards, 139 for the Blue Hens, 394 for the Owls of Temple. And that basically told the story on Saturday night as the Hens went down 22 to nothing. Injuries, remember you saw Ron Rossi limping off the field at halftime. Severe ankle injury. We hope he'll be ready for Saturday. At this point, we're not sure. He is on the questionable list right now for Princeton at Delaware Stadium this Saturday. In the top 10, Delaware right now, remember they were number one in the country in the Lexington, Lexington Herald 1AA poll. They have dropped to eighth in that poll. And the Idaho poll, which is uh, located out in the state of Idaho, they are seventh in that poll. The NCAA official poll will come out this week. We'll have that for you next week right here on the Blue Hand Football Report. Don't forget our address here. If you have any questions, comments about the program, let me know at Rollins Cablevision, care of Steve Turnberger, 20, uh, PO Box 10210, Wilmington, Delaware, 19850. Any question, comment about the program, you can uh, get a hold of this right here at Rollins Cablevision. There is the address again, Rollins Cable, care of Steve Turnberger, 